We're at Aiken, in Aiken, South Carolina, Car Cave USA. Uh, www.carcaveusa.com, carcave.com. Our phone number is 803-262-4742. And if you're starting off on the video, you can read by the title. What we're looking at is a 96 Land Rover Defender. Um, it's a special vehicle unit, East Noir Edition, so factory yellow color. Um, it was a factory soft top, so it does have an integrated roll cage, and it was built that way. Um, you know, front hoop, those are factory Land Rover lights on it. So pretty much how you see it here is very similar to how it was factory delivered. You know, there's been, there's been some changes, some upgrades, we'll go over them. Um, paint is fresh, so it's a recent respray. They put on new graphics all around. That's uh, Exmoor Trim Stay Fast Premium Top. It's new. Those are about $3,500 from Rovers North. The interior is new. Um, I always like the look of the alloy wheels. So that's one thing. I, I like it personally. The tire size is good. It's a 265 75 16 BFG All Terrain. It rides nice. I think it has a good traditional look all around. Uh, on the back, you have the NES rear bumper, so that step bumper. With a trailer receiver, you have a rear tire carrier. Um, and to fit it, give a different look. They change the reflector edges where they're vertical instead of horizontal. You can see a new exhaust tip on it here. So someone's done exhaust. Um, we did give it a full service. We do a lot of fenders. If you look around, we might have a couple. Um, you know, anytime we, I think we have, we own, we own 28 of them right now, I think. I don't know, we sold some this week, we bought some, so it changes. I think that's about right, 26 to 30, somewhere in that range. Um, so this one we did go through, we serviced, it runs exceptionally well, everything's tight, clean. Um, and this one, the bulkhead, so new seats back here, new mats. The bulkhead is actually further back, so factory on most of them, the bulkhead sits up here and you can't recline the seat, so if you're bigger, um, taller, you like your seat further back. You can see here, I will go over to one. Where's a good example? Yeah, I will go over here to well, Grashmere Green 110. You can see the position. So you have a little bit more room. Um, this is a good marker where this is here so you can see the difference. How it's moved behind what would be a post for a soft top frame. So it gives you more room. You can recline the seat further back. We do a lot of the bulkhead removal bars, cutouts. Uh, has low miles on it. You're given that this vehicle being 96 is now, must be 27 years old. So it has right around 100,000 original miles. Um, 165,000 kilometers, conversion's 0.62. So it's right in that range. Um, does have power windows. Uh, you have some upgraded shift knobs. Like I said, all the is new. This is great for on the soft tops, so you're not worried about leather. It's a, it's a vinyl. If you don't like the interior, what's good is we do enough defenders, we can switch it for you. Um, you know, pulling it out, we can use this on another project and you know, pick out what you want and whatever the difference is on cost, that's what we charge you. Um, so let's see, going over it. Sorry, it's still early. I'm, filming early in the morning. You tell it's also fact original because you have the dome light and the header um, that's sitting on there. So you don't see those with the dome light, the header, and then the, so this header coming across. And you see the integrated roll cage, soft top frame. Someone put padding on it. That's not, not stock, but it also helps your head so you don't bash it. So they wrapped it in some padding and made it uh, a lot more pleasurable if you uh, do bounce your head around. You don't want the kiddies getting getting concussions. Uh, you got the original owner's manual. It is a 300 TDI. Um, new Land Rover floor mats. Floor pans are all clean. Um, it's a non-EGR version of the 300 TDI. The R385 speed transmission. Um, there are Bilstein shocks under it. Like I said, it rides really well. You have a snorkel. Um, the front U-bar with those Land Rover factory lights. Run the engine bay. So nice and tidy, clean engine bay. Looks like the master cylinder's newer. Um, 
I didn't review all of the docks before coming on video. You can see the original motor is in it. You can see the code there. So if you have any questions about it, we know our defenders really well. So we can go over it with you. Just give us a call. If you want to review history file, maintenance receipts, records, we usually just put it in the cloud. We get shut. Um, if you need undercarriage videos, pictures, whatever you want. We do the same thing. We upload it so we can share it to multiple people. So if you ask, I'll just send you a share link. You can look at it, share it. Um, you know, Land Rovers, normally these defenders, the bulkheads like to rust out. Um, stuff like we replace these vent flap pins with stainless because they'll start to rust and come down. You, know, you want to make sure straight body all around. You know, that's key on these. The original spot welds, you see them down the side of the body. Shows nobody's put body filler in it. And you want to see a rear cross member this clean. You know, these outriggers here, you want to see clean. Inside there, you know, your floor pans, which are nice and clean. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, sorry, blocking your view. You know, the bottoms of the floor pans. And you got to remember, that sits behind here on the back, the front behind those tires. And stuff just gets thrown up and hits steel. So over time they're not dry climate you lose floor pans you lose those outriggers cross members everything uh, big issue especially ones from the uk or further north um this one was a french vehicle you see the bottom of the pans are clean outrigger uh, going up the side of the bulkhead you know everything's uh nice and tidy so back here, a lot of times they've re-welded it, put in new pieces. Um, you can see the original spot welds down the side. So nobody's putting filler in the thing. Um, I think it's a great, straight, nice driving, cool color, nice combo defender. If you wanted to mod something up, um, you know, you can go further if you want. I think it is perfect the way she is but you know you could lift it do tires change bumpers change interior they're pretty modular vehicles we do so many of them we keep tons of parts here in stock so we can we can make some mods for you uh, about 80 percent of our defenders we end up modifying before they leave so you know we always uh we're always creative on what we're doing I like to come up with some new stuff it does have the checker plate on top just because it'll Aluminum on top of these wings are so thin. You look at them funny, they seem to dent. So people like putting those on there so you have a little added protection. Uh, the ram mount, somebody had a phone mount and those ram mounts are cool. Someone had an oddball turn and lock mount. So we changed it to a ram mount with a ball because they already had it mounted on the dash. So it's a universal phone mount. You can buy one for a certain iPhone. You can get a cup holder. Just go to ram mounts. It's I think a B baseball. And you could mount tons of stuff on there. We want to do that so that it's flexible. Um, it's like a self-leveling cup holder, which I think is great. Uh, even though this, now you have two cup holders. But, you know, you can pick something out and it fit up there. The ball's in place. Um, otherwise, like I said, we do a lot of defenders. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten up front here. I think one outside. And the guys are, it's a holiday today, so nobody's working. I said this one here, we're doing panoramic glass and putting in a roll cage. It's going to old George up in Indiana. The blue one over there, we're just tidying up maintenance. It's going to Houston. Green one down there is going to Hawaii. One all the way down and going to Colorado. Um, you know, doing a couple little mods to each one of them. But if you like Land Cruisers, we got them. We're into cars, we're into Hondas, JDM stuff, German stuff, uh, Italian cars. We got a little Renault 5 GT Turbo, BMW 2002 TII, you know, some KZJ73s floating around here. That's a HDJ73. They didn't make one for the factory, so we built our own. Um, supercharged Tahoe with low miles is clean. The Jeep snuck in the building, someone allowed it. Uh, you got W460 Mercedes, EK4 Honda, Land Cruiser truck, you got the Troopy. Um, a lot of our Defenders are factory-built V8s, so we like the 300s, the 
the 200s, the V8s, um, you know, all pretty salty good motors. You got HJ61, VR4 twin turbo Mitsubishi work on, a Jolly. You got Escort, Z3M Coupe, a 300D diesel is two owner, the Tegger Type R, 427 Vet, a C8, another Jolly, another EK4 Civic, EG6 Civic, B16A2. We're putting up Christmas decorations. You know what time of year it is. But yeah, we got a full house here. Um, our shop's just as big as our showroom. So we do a lot of work there and back. If you have questions, give me a call. My name's Chris. But uh, great defender. Someone will be truly happy with it. So let us know if you are interested or you have more questions.